here by his butt. and I uh, could do a little miscommunication. Uh, we were going to go to the park, but we ended up coming here. Well, I ended up coming here. Due to many beers, not on my part. Cause I'm I driving. had beers. I'm an outbeersman. He's an outbeersman. So, this is uh, my response to being tagged by Lee Ralph for my five most carried items into the outdoors. So, let's get to it. Alright, so my first item that I always carry out in the woods is my boots. <clears throat> because you know, there's a lot of value in a good pair of uh, footwear. These are a Solo brand. I've shown them on video many times uh, with the Vibram Sole and all the dirt and gunk. You know, invest in your feet, man. I can say that. So, lo I actually just I actually bought these originally just as a camp boot, but I just fell in love with them because they're just so comfortable, and you know, I come home after. A long day of walking, hiking, walking over rocks, walking over gravel, feet have been just fine. So, <clears throat> all right. My next item, in no particular order, is my Spyderco Endura Four, my food prep knife. I love this great blade. If I'm gonna, when I say food prep knife, I'm talking like if I'm gonna have food that's gonna go to my mouth, I want to have a clean blade that I can uh, do that and I don't have to worry about you know sap being stuck to it, gunk being stuck to it, I could be chopping uh, I could cut some vegetation that could you know give you a stomach ache or you know make you run to the toilet you know it's bad times so food going ready to go to your mouth this is what I use it's a great knife highly recommended Alright, so the third item is my everyday carry. I've been asked about everyday carry in previous videos, but the thing is, I never change my everyday carry. This is what I carry all the time. The only difference is when I bring out uh, when I bring a knife to the woods. I, I this is a woods knife, but I have a and I didn't bring it, but I have another Spiderco Tenacious that I will bring. And then for work, there's no knife. So wallet. Uh, this is actually a little, it's a, called a surf shorts, uh, shorts wallet. And I just carry my change in it, so I don't have, it's just easier to dig out your change <clears throat> when you're at the drive through or you know, when you go to the woods and you know, I'm unloading my pockets, so I don't have to sit there and dig out a bunch of change. I can just throw that, throw that you know, in my hat. I love them in Blast. Hit, uh, Wolf Customs, a Kydex sheath. This is very sweet. Leather back. I carry that every day. Flashlight, bandana, um, Hidden Woodsman a belt pouch. Which inside I have my car keys. But I also carry. Um, if I can get it out. Uh, S A K Tinker. And uh, this is just an aluminum waterproof. Uh, Container you get the survival resources. I'll sometimes will throw uh, some like painkillers or if I'm feeling uh, like some ibuprofen or something like that. It's currently empty, which means I need to refill it. But it's just nice having like some Advil or something on hand, just in case you know you're feeling some pain. Of course, cell phone for either photographs or whatever. So that's pretty much my. This is what I always have on me all the time, so I don't carry a lot of stuff because I haven't had really a need for it. So, Okay, and the next item is the Hidden Woodsman's Possible Pouch, which what I carry in here is, I mean, I, I take this even if I'm just day hiking or just on a day trip, but I have the Hidden Woodsman's Signal Panel, which I've done a video on, and I carry my beloved Phoenix LD10 and the Phoenix headlamp. So this is always with me, regardless of trip. A couple of spare batteries. 
And then, um, which oddly enough, if I can get to it, my EDC flashlight takes the same batteries, so that was planned. That are genius. And then I just have some uh, grill tape. And then sometimes I'll throw extra stuff in here. It just depends on the trip and what I'm doing. I might throw a spoon in here. I might throw, you know, maybe some spices or some salt and pepper or something. Just to, I like having having everything like organized and not floating around my pack. So, so last but not least is so I kind of struggled with this one, but basically it's fire of some kind. This is my main fire kit, which I've done a video on. Ferro rod, pocket bellows, matches, lighter, zip fire starter, ferro rod. And then this is one I just carry to the park. It's sort of a portable one. Because I've got so much fire making things laying around the house that I can uh, basically make kits all day. Another ferro rod, lighter, spare lighter, and then more zip fire starters just because, you know, I had to the strap here to put them on so it keeps it nice and compact if I can get it in there so it doesn't really weigh a lot in fact neither of these do so if I'm going out, out to the wilderness this is my main but then when I go to the park just to shoot videos this is the one I always bring so good stuff all right, and just as a bonus item, uh, one other thing I carry is my camera, so I can show you guys what's going on. This is my Panasonic GH2, which is a uh, a better camera now that I realized that the uh, there's an actually an autofocus inside the body of the camera. If you just go to the menu, and it's in here somewhere. I think it's actually here. Oh yeah, continuous autofocus. I had turned off because I'm dumb. So, oops. And you're not exiting. There we go. And in my backup camera, the Olympus Tough Shot, riding on the monopod, which uh, Oregon Mike gave me because he's a great guy. So that's what I film with. You're done. Are you going? Yeah. Alright, so, uh, thanks for the tag, Ralph, I will, uh, or Lee, I will, uh, because I worked all with LOL this last weekend, I didn't have a chance to figure out who I was going to tag, so I'll just caption them in the end. And as always, uh, thanks for watching, we'll catch you in the next one.